In this video, I'm going to sketch y equals x cubed take away x squared plus 2 divided by x take away 1. So the first thing is, can I factorise that numerator? So I'm going to put it into my calculator's polynomial solver, degree 3, and we've got 1x cubed take away 1x squared plus 0x plus 2. And so we get, well, I'm getting a minus 1, so that must mean we've got x plus 1. And then we've got 1 plus i and 1 minus i. OK, so then we've got um, a quadratic. OK, so uh, what I'm going to need to do is do a quick little bit of polynomial division just to uh, divide the cubic by x plus 1 just so I can get the quadratic term. I mean, I could uh, work it out otherwise, but I'm just going to go and throw it this way. So I've got x squared. I need minus x squared. So I'm going to take away 2x squared. Uh, that's going to be minus 2x, uh, and then minus 2x times 1. Uh, we need 0x, so that's going to have to be 2x. So that's going to have to be 2. That'll get me the 2. So I've got x squared take away 2x plus 2. And that's over x take away 1. So what this is telling me is that there's only going to be one point of intersection with the x-axis. OK? Right. So first of all, um, vertical asymptotes. That's where the denominator is 0, so there will be 1 x equals 1. That's where the denominator is 0. So x equals 1. And from this, I can tell that it's crossing through the x-axis at one point at minus 1. OK. What else? So how about where it crosses the y-axis? Now, that's when x is 0. So that's going to be 2 over minus 1, so minus 2, like that. And now we're looking for uh, asymptotes, so um, oblique asymptotes or a curvilinear asymptote. Um, so I'm going to divide, polynomial divide, uh, the numerator by the denominator. OK, so we've got the x cubed, so that'd be x squared. Minus x squared, I need a minus x squared, so that's got to be 0x squared. So that's going to be 0x. That's going to be 0x, but I, I don't need any x's, do I? So that's 0x. And so that's 0, 0, and I need uh, plus 2. OK, and so that's going to be my remainder. So we can write this as x squared plus 2 over x take away 1. OK, so that means that... As x gets larger in either positive or negative direction, this fraction goes to 0, and this curve starts to look closer and closer and closer to y equals x squared. OK? So y equals x squared is an asymptote. OK? So that's, that'll do. A little bit pointy at the bottom, but... That'll do. OK. So then it's really a question of, right, how does this uh, R-curve behave, right? Does R-curve cross the Y equals X squared line? Now, um, to do that, I'm going to put the X cubed take away X squared plus 2 over X take away 1 equal to Y equals X squared, so X squared. Now... You could, right, and this is the same for um, uh, the other examples as well, and this was only pointed me out, out to me kind of quite recently. Um, I could actually just put this equal to x squared and then um, subtract the x squared from both sides. And so I'm actually trying to figure out where this is 0. And there are no points where that can be 0 because the numerator can never be 0. So actually I know that the curve won't cross the asymptote. OK, but I'll just show it this way as well, because the, this is the uh, longer way that I've been showing it in the videos. 
So x cubed take away x squared plus 2, multiply it by the x take away 1, so x cubed take away x squared. Then I can subtract the x cubed from both sides, subtract the, well, add x squared to both sides, and so I get 2 is equal to 0, which of course it isn't. Okay? And so my curve does not cross the asymptote. So you can either do it that way, as I've shown, or that way. Okay? So we must be approaching the x equals 1 line, come up through the minus 2. Now, I guess this is really going to be down to scale, like how the, like the curve behaves past that point. So maybe I kind of want, want to make sure it kind of like looks something like this, more like that. And then it's getting closer and closer and closer to the y equals x squared curve. OK, but it never crosses it because this showed that it won't cross it. And for the rest of the curve, well, it's got to tend towards this line and this curve and never cross it. So it must be up here. And so, that was a bit of a quick bend. All right, and then around like that. And so this is what the curve must look like. It's got a curved asymptote. So if you zoom out, so if you put this into Desmos and you zoomed out, it would look like the y equals x squared curve, OK? Uh, but all of the interesting stuff is happening close to the y-axis here, OK? So that is how we can sketch a curve of this form.